um, thank you for the organizer for the invitation and uh, well a little mistake I, 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 I want to speak about uh, allergic disease because it was originally in the program then uh, somebody changed the, the, the topic of uh, the presentation but uh, this is my uh, my uh, my topic um, first uh, uh, of all uh, uh, I want to present uh, our situation. What we have done uh, is something uh, uh, very unique uh, in the Italian and also uh, sometimes in the European context because uh, in Italy there is a so-called federalistic uh, management of health care. It means that every region has is more or less its autonomy. The state fixed the basic principle, then are the region to apply the, the principle. So in this context, we uh, try uh, during uh, a, a time of uh, more than 20 years uh, to build up a system of uh, complementary medicine and homeopathy integration in public health care. So uh, I am a director of uh, a clinic. The, this is uh, the, the, the city of uh, Lucca, my city. This is the old walls, uh, and this is the city. And in the public hospital of Lucca, there is a homeopathic clinic in which we apply uh, homeopathic therapy for the outpatient uh, uh, coming uh, to us. Uh, we are not uh, uh, the only one in Tuscany. Uh, this is uh, uh, a, um, a census made uh, in uh, 2015, and now the situation is more or less the same. There is nine, more than 90 clinics with complementary medicine, mainly of agopuncture, then homeopathy, and uh, herbal therapy, and others. We give about uh, 30, 35,000 of visits uh, every year, so it's not uh, so much, but uh, is uh, an interesting number. And every uh, clinic has uh, more or less uh, is a specific uh, item, can be allergic disease like in Luca, can be integrative oncology, can be delivery and uh, pregnancy, uh, this kind of, uh, then there is uh, other place like Arezzo in which there is a veterinary um, um, clinic and uh, also in Siena there is manual medicine which is uh, what you know very well. Uh, in the last time, uh, just uh, two or three years, uh, it has been uh, developed very much uh, the item of integrative oncology. We have about uh, six, eight uh, clinics uh, that uh, delivered in accord according to the uh, oncological department of the hospital um, complementary medicine to uh, improve the quality of life of uh, a patient under anti-cancer treatment and uh, to reduce uh, the adverse effect of anti-cancer treatment. All these clinics are collected in a so-called a network the, name, the actual name of the uh, network is Regional Center for Integrative Medicine of Tuscany and uh, uh, is uh, collecting this kind of all these 90 uh, clinics. More, uh, uh, more uh, the four centers of reference. Uh, our center is a reference, a Tuscan a regional reference for homeopathy. Then there is uh, for uh, agopuncture, urban medicine, and uh, for uh, inpatient, uh, complementary medicine for inpatient uh, in the experience of Pitigliano, which is uh, in the south of Tuscany. Um, of course, uh, to, to build up a system means uh, to make a lot of uh, bureaucratic and uh, also regulatory uh, rules and uh, acts. Uh, you see this uh, some uh, is in Italian, unfortunately, but uh, you see are different acts that uh, contribute to create a, uh, uh, the framework in which uh, uh, the integration is made uh, possible. This is one of the best or the most important act in which we insert complementary medicine, exactly agopuncture, homeopathy and dermal medicine, in so-called essential level of assistance of healthcare in, in a region. It means the uh, minimum level of assistance that uh, the health, public health care gives to its citizen in any case, and the complementary medicine is inserted. 
so there is a, a ticket, but it's the same ticket that a ticket means that uh, the patient, uh, the patient with uh, a particular income, uh, has to pay for the clinical visit uh, in the hospital. Uh, this ticket uh, can uh, rise uh, um, quite uh, high level for uh, examination, but for the visit is about 18.24 euro. Uh, this is uh, the website of the uh, Tuscany region. If you want to go, is uh, Regione Toscana uh, point, uh, dot it, and you can com find complementary medicine under health, and the complementary medicine uh, you can find all the uh, acts and our publication. One of these is uh, if uh, anybody speak Italian, is a, a bulletin that every three, four months we publish in, in Italian language. Um, another important act is the law, uh, regional law of 2007, in which we decide which kind of uh, uh, education, uh, minimum level of education, has uh, to have uh, the uh, professional in agopuncture, medical doctor, veterinary and pharmacist in uh, agopuncture, uh, herbal medicine and homeopathy. This regional, uh, um, this regional law uh, uh, make, uh, is, made, uh, is based on agreement between region and the uh, chamber of medical doctor, veterinary and pharmacist. They guarantee the level of uh, minimal education, which is uh, three years uh, of a course, uh, 500 hours of uh, lessons, and uh, also practical, uh, practical work with the uh, uh, tutor. Uh, in, uh, of course, there is a, it's a problem particularly uh, felt in, in Europe, but uh, if you are a region, you must be very careful to propose law which are not against uh, the statal law. So we make a sort of mechanism uh, to not conflict with uh, the government. But the government accept in 2013 to make the Tuscany law as a national law. It means that it is made by a, a, a body, institutional body, whose name is um, um, State and Region Conference. This is the Minister of Health and this is the President of Region and other uh, important person. And they decide in 2013 to have a national rules uh, signed by the state, the government and the, all the 23 region in, in, uh, in Italy. This is uh, Torre Guinigi, is one of the symbol of my town. You see these olives, uh, therapeutical plants, this is important. Our clinic, uh, public clinic, uh, uh, has, uh, has uh, practically 20 years, in September 1998, uh, started its activity. This is the area of uh, our interest. We have uh, three articulations of the work. One is a general, uh, general uh, um, clinic. The other is a, a clinic for homeopathic clinic for women. And the other is complementary medicine in oncology. And you see there is a different level of work, allergy, but also uh, both in general CAM and also social activity, cooperation, international cooperation activity. And these are all the publications in which we try to document to give the result of our work. Uh, as you know, before we, we paid, uh, the patient paid 24 euro for the visit, but uh, which is uh, one fifth of uh, what is the normal cost in private, uh, um, in private uh, uh, field. And, uh, um, but if you have low income, if you have a chronic pathology, you don't pay anything for the, for the visit. We use uh, radar and wind chip. We recorded all the visit and all the result, so we can give a uh, documented result. Till now, uh, we have seen uh, 4,152 patients, uh, consecutive patients, and uh, uh, but this is only one of the three articulations. The other for women, 1,030, 
uh, no, pediatric, this is pediatric patient on this, 1,689 and 357 cancer patient. For the total of about 6,200 patient consecutive and with a clinical informatic record for each patient. This is a publication in which I give the result of the outcome. And uh, to come to allergic atopic disease, uh, this is uh, the study we are uh, updating in this moment. Uh, um, the colleague uh, quoted uh, our work before, but uh, we try to uh, make an updating in this moment, uh, not only with pediatric, but also adults. Uh, what uh, we are doing uh, is generally working with uh, uh, LMQ potencies, for chronic disease, then we use also high potency, centesimal potency, and low potency in, in acute uh, situation. We uh, try to give uh, uh, result using oridal outcome relation to impact on daily living, uh, uh, which and then to transfer in a Likert scar scale the result. Uh, we make a, a statistical analysis, and this is uh, the number of the patient that we have seen uh, in, um, in, um, uh, in pediatric patient. Uh, and uh, you can see uh, pediatric patients are about one fourth of the, the patient, 25 uh, percent. General are female, uh, one, two thirds, and. Uh, uh, the atopic disease are 916, 22% of all the patients in, till today, um, 563 adults, 60% adults, 38% pediatric, uh, 337% with atopic dermatitis, 32 with asthma, 30 with allergic rhinitis. And uh, they, we have uh, a follow-up visit, uh, one uh, fifty percent of the patient, no more, because we have a long waiting list, uh, so it's a problem. Uh, pediatric patient uh, uh, with uh, atopic dermatitis uh, are uh, thirty-nine percent, thirty-nine percent with asthma, and twenty-one percent with allergic rhinitis. Allergic rhinitis is much more frequent in uh, adult uh, uh, patient; it's uh, about thirty-six uh, percent. These are uh, some, uh, some start uh, result. You see, is, uh, this is the column of children, and uh, this is the column of uh, um, young adults and adults. Uh, there is uh, a, a, a quite a difference between uh, uh, the two columns in allergy, uh, rhinitis, and asthma more frequent in, in uh, not allergic, but uh, asthma without uh, uh, prick or rust test positive, and also atopic dermatitis more frequent in, in the uh, children, in pediatric patients. About the result, uh, this is the general result. Uh, we uh, consider the so-called the best result when we have a good improvement, important improvement resolution, is about 73%. It means that 73% of our patients have a, an important result, uh, amelioration and the uh, uh, resolution is about uh, 35%. It means the disappearance of the symptoms, quite a total disappearance. The, um, the best, uh, uh, one of the best results is in the dermatological disease, 74%. Resolution is uh, 47% in children, but less in adults. In general, children answer better to the homeopathic treatment is a, a very well-known uh, item. Allergic rhinitis is a resolution. It means a disappearance is about 30 percent uh, in pediatric patient, 18 percent in, uh, in adult, and in general 73 percent. And asthma result is 26.9 the resolution in children, 70 percent in adults, and 71 percent. All the atopic disease has this more or less result. Uh, and also, if you, we take uh, uh, every single uh, uh, pathology disease, uh, we have uh, more or less uh, the same result. Better in children, less in adults. Uh, this is uh, a work 
uh, not quoted before because there was an after. This is homeopathic disease, uh, atopic disease, but not only uh, dermatitis, but also respiratory disease. Sorry, but I have uh, the, <laughs> the finger heavy. Um, this is a, a published uh, work uh, and, uh, made uh, some years ago in which uh, we take, uh, to, to, to re resume our work, we take uh, all the patients with at least five years of follow-up and uh, to ask to them after at least five years uh, after the treatment, the homeopathic treatment, what is, uh, which, were, which were the result, uh, if uh, the amelioration is, uh, uh, is going on or not, if uh, there is a, 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 a worsening of, of the symptom. Uh, and uh, so we, we, we call back uh, uh, to the hospital uh, all the patients uh, with at least five uh, years of follow-up. And uh, this, more or less, is the result. Is that this is the result in general, 75% of uh, good result for all the patients. But uh, if you have long-term result, you see the difference between the years. Asthma, the, mid, the mean age is, was 6.2 year, uh, years, then uh, after the evaluation, 13 years, and so on, 9, 17, 5, 12. It means that there is a, a, a mean uh, uh, difference between of, of follow-up, about seven years of uh, follow-up. And uh, this is uh, the remission or absence uh, of uh, symptoms uh, after uh, this uh, uh, um, long-term follow-up. Uh, asthma was uh, absent in 71 patients, 48, uh, 50 percent, uh, uh, around 50 percent rhinitis, 84 in dermatitis. It means that if you have, uh, if you work properly, you can have uh, this kind of result uh, at not only for acute disease, not only using uh, allium cepa, sabadilla, pulsatilla for to reduce the acute symptom of, uh, for instance, allergic rhinitis, but you can go on and to see after years the result of the disappearance of this kind of, of symptoms. Of course, sometimes there is some problem uh, because uh, when disappear for resistance uh, dermatitis uh, you can also make a suppression but you have to take in account that uh, what we call allergic atopic march is not only a, a result of a suppression if a child uh, is born in a family in which is a present atopic disease allergy asthma etc and start with dermatitis. Also, if you don't su suppress this dermatitis uh, and give only ointments uh, and not cortisone, etc., the evolution to respiratory disease, uh, the natural devolution uh, to the respiratory disease, it uh, is uh, possible. Uh, this is uh, uh, the table of patients who have uh, mixed all the kind of atopic disease. Uh, you see asthma with dermatitis, asthma with allergic dermatitis, which are complex diseases, not easy to treat, and we have a less good result, but 52% of these patients with complex disease have a remission, complete remission of, of the symptoms. This is important. Well, I uh, am going to the conclusion. Ah, one, one of the data we have uh, 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 find is this, that if you have asthma and you have, uh, uh, you, you have a positive pre allergic asthma, you have less chance to recover, to have an amelioration. And also, if you have atopic dermatitis, you have dermatitis, but you have uh, negative uh, prick and rust, you have better result. It means that if there is a very uh, uh, early uh, positive test, you have uh, a, a worse uh, prognosis. And uh, also, uh, the disappearance of the symptoms is more uh, easy after a, a period of uh, age of seven instead of uh, five. 
Well, uh, last uh, things uh, that uh, also in, in, in uh, conventional medicine we have a similar result. Some atopic diseases uh, have the tendency to disappear so, or, or in a certain percentage. Our percentage, according to the study in literature, are better than uh, what we found in, in the uh, literature, conventional literature. And uh, above all, what uh, we can see is uh, that if we uh, a child start with a severe asthma or dermatitis, it tends to have severe asthma and severe dermatitis also after uh, some years. In our ca uh, cases, uh, we have a, a general tendency to reduce the severity of asthma and, uh, and dermatitis. This is uh, the publication. One was uh, quoted before, the other is this one. Uh, 2016, homeopathic therapy in pediatric atopic disease, short and long term result. This is another publication. And the conclusion, uh, this result tends to identify positive therapeutic effect of homeopathic treatment in pediatric patients and also in adults, uh, according to the, the recent uh, data, with atopic disease, dermatitis, asthma, and allergic rhinitis. Our data seems to show a less tendency of children with asthma under homeopathic treatment to maintain asthma or rhinitis in adult age from early childhood, with a frequency at least equal to those under conventional treatment, according to literature data, but less severe. What does it mean? It means that uh, there is less uh, uh, adverse effect using homeopathy or, or, or practically nothing and less cost of uh, so the we treatment. We have more minutes. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Okay. Thanks, Greg. <laughs> <laughs>